In this video, we'll cover the basics of the current base decay system in Last Oasis. Hi, and welcome to another Pixel Care video. Today's topic is the base decay system that was introduced with Season 2. We will do our best to cover all you need to know, as well as a few things you might not need to know, including anything and everything that we've seen asked by the community on various channels. Let us first cover the reason why the system was introduced. Donkey Crew stated the following. To help with performance and certain exploits, we added daily maintenance costs to bases. Each base consumes resources based on its size and starts decaying if not maintained. This will drastically reduce the throwaway bases spam and allow different tactics to come into play. So, in other words, bases of all sizes, starting with a single foundation, require a maintenance chest and ongoing resources to prevent it from decaying. If you build a base without a maintenance chest or don't put sufficient resources into the maintenance chest, your base will start to decay right away which means that over time the structures will disappear, including anything which you might have built on top of it. In other words, not something you want to experience. So, how does it work and what are the resource requirements? Once you have built a base or platform of any kind, one of the first things you need to do is to build a maintenance chest which can be unlocked via the construction tech tree for 10 fragments. Be warned that once a chest has been placed, it cannot be moved anymore. So if you want to move a chest to a different location, you'll have to destroy the original one and then build a new one. Furthermore, only one maintenance chest can be placed on a base at any given time. Once placed, you can select the maintenance chest to see its inventory. It will automatically tell you which resources are required to maintain your base and the remaining time before the base decays. The required resources depend on the type of base you're building. Stone, light wood, medium wood, heavy wood, clay or cement. To maintain it, each base will require the same type of resources which we use to build it. For instance, light wood bases will simply require wood and fiber, while a clay base will need wood, cattail and clay. This also means that if you combine materials when building a base, your chest will require a combination of all those resources. For example, this is a chest for a cement base, which also includes some light wood pieces. So you might think, building a bigger base could become rather annoying. However, a base would need to be rather enormous before that becomes the real issue. While a bit of an extreme example, take the cement base from a clanmate. Even if you double the size, there would be plenty of time left on the decay timer. A third material type might reduce the overall maintenance time, though such a large base would likely be a team effort and get restocked on a daily basis. The amount of resources that will be required to maintain your base depends on the total amount of resources that's gone into it, from foundations, floors, walls, ceilings and more. The bigger the base, the higher the cost. If you're wondering if items or stations placed on your base add to the maintenance cost, they don't. The maintenance is only related to base building pieces and not items like chests, workstations and similar that you place on it. Now, in an attempt to learn more about the decay time, we took a look at how often foundation pieces lost HP by placing a single foundation of all building types as seen here. What we found was quite surprising, as we recorded anything between 6 to 10 minutes between each HP loss and the amount of HP loss also differed each time, with no clear relation between the time and HP lost. Furthermore, we could not find a clear relation to time and HP between the different building materials. In the end, we decided to simply record when we built the first piece and when it finally fully decayed. So let's look at approximately how long it took each building type to decay when not maintained. Without resources, a base will start to decay around the same time, though some pieces might go before others. Anything standing on a decayed building piece will also disappear with it. 
though for a limited amount of time all items from chests and similar go into a loot bag and can be rescued. This is also the case for bases built on the Balang and Siler Founder Walkers. The building pieces will decay first and ultimately the Walker core itself will also decay if it remains packed out. It just takes a lot longer as it has more HP. Now we would not be surprised if part of this system and the maintenance of some building materials will be tweaked in the future, as it feels like there might be some balancing required. As a side note, you can also technically use a maintenance chest as your personal storage for quite a few resource types. Each stack goes up to 9999, which is substantially more than any regular chest can hold. You still need the relevant maintenance resources of course for the base you have built it on and as mentioned you can only have one of these chests per base. On top of that, each maintenance chest also serves as a single item packer, making it easier to reorganize your base without using a walker all the time. So, with all of this in mind, here is a final summary of facts and some further findings. Every base requires a maintenance chest and the resources to maintain it depend on the building material type and the amount of resources used. If someone breaks into your base and either empties the contents of your maintenance chest or destroys the chest, it has the same consequences, so do make sure your chest is secure. Maintenance chests can't be moved after they have been placed. Only one maintenance chest can be placed on a single base at a time. Items or stations placed on your base don't add to your base maintenance cost. If a base fully decays, every item and station placed on it will disappear as well. Quality resources have no impact on the maintenance time and are not better than regular zero quality resources. A base which has been packed up with a walker or packed up and moved into the lobby with a walker will not continue to decay. So this is a way to save some maintenance cost if a base is not in use. Bases on Founder Walkers also decay. This is also true for the Founder Walkers core HP if left unpacked. Items and stations which are not placed on a base but instead directly on the ground or on a regular walker do not decay or require any maintenance. Decay only affects actual building pieces. You can use your maintenance chest like the pack base functionality from walkers, meaning you can select items in your base and pack and move them. And finally, you can also use your maintenance chest to store a good amount of resources beyond what's required for the maintenance itself. That's all for this video. If you have any additional questions or have found some facts we did not mention, do leave us a comment. Please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and even hit that bell to support us.